Hello everyone, welcome back to the Violet Hour. I'm Belisium, and today we are continuing with Chapter 4 in Corpse Party. Uh, we had quite a lot go on in the previous episode. Uh, I think I'm actually breaking that up into two episodes or more. Uh, but hopefully in this episode we will be able to finish Chapter 4 and start with Chapter 5. Uh, I think we read this already. Yeah, don't read it. We read this already. Uh, we're gonna carry on. I don't remember what we were doing. We have a doll. I can't go this way. Okay, yeah. I feel like I'll lose my mind. I know just what you mean. God damn it. Why did she have to die like that? Um... Yeah, uh, so I think what we're we are attempting to do is use the doll as like a locator for all of the children's tongues. I don't know if we want to go this way, so let's try because I think it's going to kick me back. <laughs> let's not go that way. The air, it's really heavy and it makes my ears ring. <laughs> can't believe there's a second wing to this place. I had no idea. Okay, yeah. So, uh, I think we're looking for where the doll is going to react. So, let's, um, let's go down here. We're just going to try and get rid of all of the... Oh. Go. Go to where the floor collapsed, but then got better. One step rooster, then ten paces rat. Uh, go to where the floor collapsed, but then got... What is this? Oh, those are shoes. Where did the floor collapse, but then got better? Um... So the floor just collapses here. It doesn't really get better. Ooh. One pace rooster. Rooster is west. And then rat is 12. Hmm. So it's gotta be down here somewhere. Um, right? The floors. I think that's just a shadow. Maybe it's here. One, two, three, four. Uh, one pace rooster. And then what is it? 12? No. Hmm. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12. No. Okay, I don't know. Where it collapsed but then got better. Maybe it's here. Whoa. <laughs> cool story, bro. Cool story, bro. Where the, where the floor collapsed, but then got better. Maybe here? The floor collapsed, but then got better. Do we remember where the floor collapsed, but then got better? this is it right here. Because the floor collapsed, but then we made it better. But I can't go to the, the left. Though the floor here had clearly collapsed previously, the gap seemed to have mysteriously closed up on its own. It feels completely solid. So one pace, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. One of the floorboards here is slightly raised, peering through the cracks. You can just barely make out something shiny in the dark recesses below. Try to pull it out? Yes! Ha ha! Shuffle, shuffle. From beneath the floorboards, you manage to fish out a crank-like key that resembles the winder from an old-fashioned pocket watch. The heck is this? Doesn't look like it would fit any door I know. Winder, a tiny key shape like the winder from a clock or music box. I know where this goes. Maybe, possibly, uh, I might not actually know, but I'm gonna suspect. It goes to the thing. You know, the thing, guys. Uh, wrong room? Is it... Is it this room down here, then? I'm getting confused with my school... My, my classrooms. Yeah, I think it's this one. Yeah. Okay. We read all of that before. Basically, these two uh, were happy that they found each other and they were content at the fact that they'd found their soulmates. So even dying, they were still...
sorry, I had a bit of the sneezes. Um, they, in their dying moments, they were still satisfied because at least they had each other. So they died with their hands clasped together in the hopes that they would go to heaven together. And then somebody wrote some graffiti being like, you guys are dumb, you're not going to heaven. The winder you found looks like it'll fit perfectly in the keyhole at the base of the lever. Use it. Yes, please. It did indeed slip into the device without any trouble, but nothing happened. Oh, come on. The lever is still stuck, but seems to have a bit more give than it did before. There's space for it to go down one more notch. Try forcing it? Yes. Oh, yeah. <gasps> what? We have a whole new space to explore. We have a whole new space to explore. Uh, really quickly, though. Did anybody say hello? The message wrote previously is still clear, but nothing has been added. Okay, nobody's been by. That's a shame. So we didn't find a tongue this time. I, uh... I had to look over to make sure I was still recording because I was like, oh my God, did I actually hit the record button? <laughs> I would be so mad if I if I uh, just started playing and all of a sudden realized like, yeah, you're not actually recording anything. Whoa, get a load of this place. It's got showers and everything. It's also in black and white. Where's the color? Oh, they're coming from all around me. Blood? Shinazaki! Are you alright? Did you feel something again? Uh-huh. Another nosebleed. If it's just her nose, it's fine. But if it's a blood vessel bursting in her brain or something... Here, Shinozaki, stuff some tissue up your nose to stop the bleeding. Thanks. I have some of my own. But since you got yours out already... Yeah, go ahead. Did the ghost get to her? No. She's been a little off since before that. I think she's probably reached her limits. She needs to rest. Oh. Is there something here? The locker is empty. I saw him go this way. A high school uniform has been shoved haphazardly into this locker. Taikuya something. <coughs> the sound effect. Okay. It's empty. But he did go that way for some reason. Oh, there's blood on the floor. It's blood from Hayumi's nose. Your own reflection stares back at you. Strangely, you have more wrinkles than you remember. 
No matter how hard you turn the handle, no, mod no water is coming out of the faucet. Is broken. Is broken. Uh, okay. Okay. Rest it in place, won't budge. Okay. Bucket. Bucket is crammed full of discarded underwear, all twisted up like wrung out dish rags. Mmm, tasty. I meant that sarcastically, by the way, in case you were wondering. Um. Okay. That leads to outside. Oh, I thought there was a door here. I'm insane. Okay. I thought there was two doors. Okay. No running by the pool. Okay. Is something gonna chase me to make me want to run by the pool? A pool, huh? Can't even see the other side of it with all the rain. All right, here goes. Shinazaki, this clearly isn't working. Why don't I take the doll for a bit? You'll catch your death of cold out here. Go back inside. I can handle the search. You just wait for me in the locker room. Where we clearly saw a spirit. And what's gonna happen if a ghost shows up again? Hmm? You think you'll be able to handle it? Don't worry about it. If anything happens, I'll call you. And you can come to my rescue. All right, just don't do anything stupid. Thank you. You say something? I've got to try to lighten her load as much as possible. I don't think she can handle much more of this. Hmm. Oh, it's like foggy at the bottom of the screen. Do you see anything in the water? I see something in the water. What's up with this murky water? There's no telling what could be down there. All I know is, I wouldn't be caught dead in this pool. Of course I can't really swim, so... Huh. Okay. Oh, there's a letter. Hold on. There's a letter. I want to read the letter. I want to read the letter. Also, there's a little... Oh, wait. I can't get to the letter. Um... It's essentially an oversized faucet or pump, obviously used for filling the pool. Its entire surface is covered in moss that seems to have absorbed some of the water, puffing it up with a thick blackish green coat of ultra shiny slime. Okay, so we can't turn it. <clears throat> I was almost thinking like you could turn it and uh, the water would go down or something. We are going to have to get into this pool, though, because we're going to have to climb out to read that letter over there at some point. Caution. Co confirm all swimmers have vacated the pool before draining. Oh, there's a sign on the door that says pump room. The door is locked. 
Okay, so I need the key to the pump room to drain the pool. Uh, what? Can I? It looks like there's a key lodged in the crack between two tiles. Try to dig it out. Uh, yes, please. Ooh, pump room key found near the pool. It's thin, flimsy, and rusted. Will probably break after a single use. Listen, I don't care as long as it is it uh works once. Pump room. I've had enough. Oh, there's a timer. Was that? No, there's no way. Come on, give me a break here. Uh, can I go in? What the? Seems like something fell in. Shinazaki is still in the locker room, right? Uh, okay, it's not letting me do that. So maybe I have to drain the pump? Oh my god. Am I gonna be fast enough? Unlock this door. Here's a sign on the door saying pump room. Door is locked. Unlock it. Yes, please. Let's unlock it. Okay, the key was so rusted and brittle that it instantly snapped as soon as it was turned. Fortunately, it's already done its job. Okay, cool. Don't care. Uh, shit. Uh, pump room. Uh, pump room? The valve wheel was labeled drainage. Turn it? Yes. Okay. Uh, 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 okay, it's draining. What was that? Did something get stuck in the drain? Oh no. Did I get the bad ending? <gasps> oh no. Oh! I killed her. No! Shinazaki! That's Shinazaki! Why? Why did this have to happen? God, no! No, Shinazaki! No! Whoa! Game over. Damn. <laughs> okay, I found one of the bad endings, guys. <laughs> I was thinking that draining the water would mean that she wouldn't drown, but uh, apparently that was a bad plan on my part. Do I have regrets a little bit? Am I glad that I found one of the bad endings? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so we found attacked and killed by child spirit. That was an easy one. Uh, sucked into pool drain, body shredded. I'm sure, your body was shredded by a pool drain. Makes perfect sense. Okay, so we missed two. We missed the first one and the second one. That's not bad. We might still be able to get a majority of the bad endings then. Um... All right, we're picking up the pump key and we're back. Pump room, huh? I've had enough. Okay. So I somehow have to get to her. Come on, give me a break here. She's still in the locker room, right? Okay, so we're gonna go to the locker room to verify that she's not there. Shinozaki! Shinozaki! Damn it, she's not here. I guess that really was her then. What the hell is she thinking? Okay. Uh, I think she was thinking she's had enough. I think that's exactly what she was thinking. 
What is wrong with me? What am I doing? I should have never taken my eyes off of her. This is all my fault. God damn it. Okay, I can't. I can't jump in. I need to. I need to jump in. Hey! Shinazaki! Shinazaki! Alright, cool. We're gonna. Pretty sure this is where the waters were coming from. It is? Cool animation. Oh no. She's not here. Okay. Uh, yeah? I didn't pay attention. Shit. Well, I guess we get to see another bad ending, right? Did I pick the wrong spot? Uh, yeah, sure. I'm not really super worried about finding her. I, uh, I figure this will be another one of the bad endings and then we can get the good ending, honestly. She's not here! Did I pick the wrong spot? Yeah, you did. Mm, yeah. Yeah, we got like a couple of minutes left. Oh, we could have gotten the note. Oh, well. She's not here. Did I pick the wrong spot? We found her. Does she not know how to swim? Or is it because she was like wanting to? She like, I don't know, held her breath until she passed out. Okay. Drowned in murky, stagnant water. Yeah, so we got four and five now. So there's one more bad ending, two bad endings, and one good ending. Not too bad. Okay, now we got to pay attention to where, where she jumps. I've had enough. Okay. Come on, give me a break. I swear he actually walks slower while on a time limit than when he doesn't have a time limit. We're skipping through because we read through this. we read through this before. Um is this my fault? God damn it. Okay. I think it's here. Oh no, it's gotta be one over. Okay. She's not here. 
Uh, yeah, somewhere in here. It's her! Don't worry, Ishinazaki! I'm pulling you up! Oh, okay, cool. Got her! Shinazaki! Shinazaki! God, at least she has still got a pulse. Come on. Breathe already, damn it. God, don't worry me like that. You back with me now? So tell me, why the hell did you jump into the pool? your voice so I ran outside and after that I don't remember much else the next thing I knew my vision was all this sickening green color and my mouth was full of water god damn it was this the worst work of those ghosts again? Can't believe they can trick us so easily. There's gotta be something in that pool. Or something... There's something stuck in my tooth. Oh god, it's like algae or something. <laughs> Wonder if the showers still work. <laughs> Nothing. I can't get rid of this horrible taste, and I smell absolutely putrid. I hate this. Well, don't jump in pools next time. Baka. How does she think I feel? Shinozaki, how about we go out into the rain and wash ourselves off a little? Though I don't know how much help rainwater will be getting that taste out of your mouth. Dude, you just sit there with your mouth open and you let it just flush. Okay. All right then, let's go. After 
After this, I guess we'll need to figure out how to dry our clothes. Feeling better? What is on her face? Can you see that? Oh, it's her hand. Okay. I thought there was like blood coming out of her eyeball for a minute. I was like, oh my god. Yeah, surprisingly, I was able to rinse out my mouth pretty thoroughly. Were, were you? That's good. Shinazaki, while I was out here, I came across a room in the back that I'd kind of like to check out. I'll go with you. That's probably for the best. All right, let's do it. Dun dun dun! We're on a mission. Go into the pump room. Okay. There's a sign on the door that says pump room. The door is locked. Unlock it? Yes, please. The key was so rusted and brittle that it instantly snapped just as it was turned. Fortunately, it had already done its job. See, now I care more because there's not a timer. Oh. The valve wheel is labeled drainage. Turn it? Yes, because we have all of our party members now. Yahoo! Pretty sure that's the sound you make when you when you drain water out of a pool. Yeah. Hold on. That was what that warning on the sign was supposed to be. It was supposed to tell me, like, hey, don't do this. It's the body of a female student, rotten and decayed. Mitsuki Kimi G something. It's the corpse of a very tiny individual being picked pickled in this filthy brine for so long seems to have bloated its skin into a patchwork of pustules. Kanzuki Sato. It's the body of a female student rotting and decaying. Tsutskasa something. Based on size, this appears to be the body of a high schooler. Long-term exposure to the dirty, contaminated water has left it a quite a mess. Hyrun Tanakai. Okay. The dim light around you... The dim lights around you are reflecting off of something deep inside the drain gate. Try to fish it out. Uh, yes. What is this thing? Some kind of handle? Rusted valve wheel found at the bottom of pool probably got stuck in when the water was drained. Okay. Um, okay. I removed the wheel from the water pump and threw it into the pool. Hopefully that'll keep anyone from finding the little treasure I left in the spigot. That bitch killed my friends and she can spend eternity without a tongue for all I care. Okay, so we're looking for... We're looking for... Uh, you're looking for somewhere that needs a a spigot or we're looking for a spigot a crude label written on a piece of tape attached to the device reads water pump right below it there's a slot for some sort of lever or handle attach the rusted valve wheel uh yes
っと。サビツイテテコレジョマラナイカ。Ugh, that's as far as it's gonna go. I think it's too rusted to turn anymore. Okay. Um, did that maybe do something for us? Oh, it did. Okay. <clears throat> It's a small hemp bag stained with copious amounts of blood. It seems to have fallen from the spigot. An elementary schooler's student ID name tag is attached to it. Heavenly Host Elementary School, Class 16, Tokiko Tsuji. The bag appears to contain a severed human tongue. It's a girl's name. Tokiko's tongue. All right. Well, I think she was the one in the、uh, hallway chasing after us before. So we just need to save, which I feel is very, very integral to our survival. Let's go up here. We're gonna save that. Okay, now we're gonna chase down the ghost who's been coming after us. She honestly wasn't really chasing after us very hard, though. So. She was like up here, right? We read this. Previously, okay. Which one do we give it to? Uh, we give it to this one. This one? This one. Oh, God, not this one. Girl spirit. She's got no head above her chin. How am I supposed to know whose tongue we've got? Pull out the tongue bag? Uh, yes. I mean, honestly, I don't know, but I mean, since she's the one who kind of came at me, I'm hoping. And we're gonna know in about two seconds if this is the right girl. The little girl's spirit is staggering toward Ayumi, blood gushing up from her gaping cross section of a head as she walks. Please be the right one! Tokiko! Tsuchi! This is yours, isn't it? I'm giving it back! Offered the spirit Tokiko's tongue. What happened? The other ghost is headed this way. We have to run. Oh, later. What do you say? When something catches your eye, such as a poster on the wall or an item on the floor, walk over and examine it. Never give up. Never give up. Never surrender. Um, we did everything in there. We're kind of looking for the next place that the doll's gonna weep at, right? That's kind of the thing. Okay. Okay, that's still not open to us. That's fine.
Okay. Hmm. Okay, so this floor is no longer um, important to our investigation. We can kind of cross this off the list. Do we go in here? Okay, yeah, nothing's been added. Okay. Um, hmm. Okay, no weeping, so that's good. Jesus. Here we go again. Where the hell is it going to take us this time? Where your friend was splattered. The, fl the floorboards beneath that wall. right under her globby entrails. Right where the floor dips and the blood pools. Drip drop, drip drop. Smelly, smelly, icky, icky. Get in there good. And dig it out. Ah, well, I feel like this, uh, this doll is enjoying itself way too much. Yeah. You're getting a good laugh out of this, you sick son of a bitch. God, if that's where it is. I'm not sure we can ever bring ourselves to get it. Is someone there? Morishige, you're alive. Ah, Kishinuma, and our class rep. I'm very glad to see you both safe and sound. Hmm? Hmm? What happened? It's a long story. So where have you been? I was in the second wing until a short while ago, but suddenly lost consciousness. And when I woke up here, it felt as if the air had somehow changed. Oh, yes. 
and I did briefly cross paths with Machida and his sister. You did? So they're okay too? They are. Though when I next ran into Mochida's sister, it seemed she and her brother had parted ways. Uh, Morishigi. What is that in your hand? It's so funny because as I was reading that, I looked at both of his hands to see what he was holding. I was like, wait, what? What is he holding? <gasps> Morishigi appears to be grasping a blood-soaked pouch in his hands. Ah, <laughs> これ Hmm? Oh, this? I, uh, found it under the floorboards in the hallway. Just up these stairs. Is it some kind of a charm? Do you want it? Please take it. I'm merely searching for a certain someone, so I have no need for charms at the present time. Yuki's tongue, the severed tongue of one of the heavenly host murdered victims, sealed in a small hemp bag. As with the others, there is a student ID name tag attached to the front. Heavenly Host Elementary School, Class 5-2, Yuki Kano. Well... I should be going now. Is something wrong, Class Rep? You look like you've seen a ghost. Ah, uh, yes. One more thing. Machida said we should all try to meet in classroom 1A. Oh, oh. oh okay. I, I'm guessing. <laughs> it wasn't from... You know, Suzumoto's spot. Maybe it shifted over a few feet. And he got it from there. I mean, if he didn't, then... That really freaked me out. Did you see his hands? They were covered in blood. <gasps> yeah, uh, he, um... He definitely is not averted to blood and gore. He'd make a great surgeon. Just gonna, I'm gonna put that out there. Yeah, he would probably do just fine with being a surgeon. Cool. I'm totally saving that, by the way. Because <laughs> if this is not the right ghost, because there's three female ghosts and one male ghost. We already took care of the male ghost. I'm assuming that the, the headless one was also the correct one. But this one could very well not be correct, and it could be another ghost somewhere else wandering around. So just in case. Give it back. Give it back. This girl's missing an eye. All we've got is a tongue. Is that going to be enough? What do we do? Pull out the tongue bag? Uh, yes. Uh, 
The girl lowers her head and begins rocking slowly back and forth. Kano! Yuki-chan! Yuki! Kano! This is for you. It is yours, isn't it? Offered the spirit Yuki's tongue. Thank you very much. Oh. We did good. <laughs> Guys, we did good. We're not dead. <laughs> we did it. We did it. Shinazaki, all three of them. <laughs> oh, yeah. All that's left is no, no more. <laughs> Every time I talk to these ghosts, I feel like I'm getting closer and closer to death myself. Do you even have any idea what that's like? I keep picturing how I'll look when I'm dead. And I'm not even trying. Girl. He's right there with you. He's doing the same things you're doing. You, like, you think you're the only one who feels that way? How selfish are you? It just pops into my head all on its own. And it's such a horrible image. I want to go home. I just want to go home, back to my mom and my sister. And Mochida. Oh, wow. Wow, she's horrible. She's actually horrible. Yoshiki. Shinozaki. Shinozaki. All right. Next one is mine then, okay? So, just try to pull yourself to- uh? God damn it! Not again! This one's big, too. Ooh, things are being written in the book. Ah, The closed spaces are maybe collapsing? Intersecting with each other? Was I knocked out? Where am I? Is this our classroom? Oh my god, did we escape? No fooling. Shinazaki! Hey, wake up! She's breathing, at least. Shinazaki, come on, wake up already. 
Take a look around you. I can barely believe, believe it myself, but here we are. No way. It's really real. Check it out. Here's my desk. Mine too. It's right here. I can't believe it. It's true. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. 1027 Cultural Festival and a few swings. Let's sell us uh, some red bean soup like there's no tomorrow. Uh-huh. We're collecting to buy a bouquet of flowers for our dear friend Suzumi who will be leaving us for a new school after the festival. 300 yen per person. Contact Izumi Sino Shinozaki for payment. Guess there's no Satoshi or Miss Yui or anyone else. Uh huh. The shelves are filled with personal effects belonging to class 2-9, primary and assistant homeroom teacher. Miss Yui even has some cans of cat food in here. I'm not sure that's the sort of thing she should be storing in the classroom, though. Well, maybe she feeds the cats. I never thought I'd live to see home again. Me neither. Let's leave. The needle on the clock in the hall is pointing to eight, and there's not a soul in sight. Satoshi and Yui Sensei Guess there's no Satoshi or Miss Yui or anyone else, huh? Venturing out in search of others, you find that even the janitor has likely gone home. The lights are out and the halls are pitch black. Only the red light. Only the red glow of the light next to the fire extinguisher offers any respite from the quaint, quiet darkness of the school hallway. Standing around in the darkened corridors of our school building at 8 p.m., 
in the evening just feels so surreal. As the thunder and rain grow in intensity, the windows begin to condensate with moisture, turning white in contrast to the corridor sea of black. Is this reality? Was everything up until now just a dream? Where am I right now? And what am I doing? What? Shinozaki, what's wrong? Maybe we've lost our minds. What? What the hell is this? Spirit. No! Go back! Don't come any closer! It was a raining evening after school, just like this one. On the day I was kidnapped, I remember I had a fight with my mom that morning. Why? Why is she telling us this? I I have no idea. I didn't want to see her face. So, after school, I decided that instead of going home, I'd park myself in the outdoor walkway for a little and watch the rain. That's when Mr. Yoshikazu showed up. He sat down next to me. I told him all about my fight with mom. And he listened really closely and just kept saying, Uh huh. Uh huh. He was sick and couldn't speak much, you see, but he was a very kind man. I really liked him. But then... You 
two are nice people. I'm so sorry. She's so tiny. She must be a fifth grader? Yuki, Kano, right? Ah. Thank you for what you did back there. For making the effort to help those of us who were killed in that school. Didn't we succeed? Though? So why are you still here? No, you didn't. But we returned your tongues. We gave you back your ability to speak out. And we even got your murderer to repent for what he did. Is it just that you can't forgive him? No matter what? Appeasing us isn't about forgiveness. It doesn't matter if we forgive or not. Repentance is between the criminal and the victim. It's the sole act capable of moving us. And we exist. Oh. And we exist as fragments of the sacred ground upon which heavenly host is sealed. I believe that moving us is your best course of action. But it's not enough. His repentance just wasn't enough. So you're saying his words, the words spoken by the doll, weren't good enough to appease you. That's not... Huh? So, what then? Why do you feel the need to trap one innocent stranger after another in that godforsaken place? You child spirits are the ones who summoned us there, aren't you? That's not true. The hell do you mean by that? We're just the cogs that hold the closed space together. But you... you killed Suzumoto, didn't you? Wait. Huh? Let's hear her out. I'm just glad I was able to get even the two of you back to safety. Why the hell are you suddenly so concerned about us? I 
I heard about a situation like this from my sister once. A, s a lost soul whose life was ended violently and abruptly, leaving her with a mountain of worries and regrets. It's kind of like stopping short at the edge of madness. With all sorts of thoughts and feelings swirling around in your head. Your kindly nature and your sudden hatred and panic begin to spin around and around, and you just start acting without any sort of control. Your sister, some kind of medium or something? Yeah, something like that. So what you're saying is, this little girl and the creepy little girl we met before are two sides of the same coin. I feel for you. I really do. So please, please, bring the rest of them back. Mochida, Miss Yui. And everyone else, too. Bring them all back home. Come on. You can do it, right? I don't think that's possible anymore. Why not? Those closed spaces have eaten a lot of innocent souls. Far too many, in fact. The grudges of those who died there have filled every last corner of them. There's no room left. And because the agony and pain has nowhere else to go, it's begun feeding on the minds and souls like us who are bound there. It won't be long. Before I turn back into a vengeful spirit who attacks people like you without mercy. So, we're going to lose you as an ally then. to save Mochida and the others? There may be one way. W what is it? I think you already know. You have to return to the closed spaces. Find all four of us heavenly host serial kidnappings and murder victims. And put us all to rest. 
Then, the closed spaces won't have their cogs anymore, so they'll begin to fall apart. And you just might get your friends back. You expect us to go back? And this time, instead of just having one person left to appease, we have to go back to the drawing board and appease all four of you? Why couldn't you tell us the reason our previous efforts weren't good enough? What is there to hide? It's just... something I don't want to remember. But... If you really want to know, I'll tell you. I'll tell you everything that happened. Yuki's spirit gently took hold of Iyumi's hand, and in an instant, their two beings seemed to merge together into a single mind. Didn't I pass out? So why am I fully aware right now? I can't see a thing. And I can't move. It's like that feeling you get when you're really tired. Sleep paralysis, I think? Uh, where? Why can't I move? Whoa. Shh, Sachikiko Shinazaki, the little girl in the red dress, and the only survivor of the horrific murders that occurred in Heavenly Host Elementary School. Following the incident, Sachiko's family fled from the area. Yeah, fled is a weird term to use. Moving to another prefecture to escape the frightful memories that remained here. Strangely, however, I've been unable to locate any other records of the Shinozaki family. No matter where I look, the only information I can find about them comes from newspaper reports on the Heavenly Host murders. Granted, when an elementary school becomes the stage for a grisly incident such as this, perpetrated by none other than a principal's own son, it stands to reason that the scandal would serve as a primary focus for public interest, with all other details fading into the background. 
予想したがそうではなかった。So, of course, after learning that Sachiko was safe, further news of her whereabouts was largely ignored in favor of the media circus surrounding the school. Well, if it was like here in the United States,、uh, the reasoning would actually be more along the lines of keeping、uh, like child privacy.、Um, anybody like under the age of 18 that's a part of like、um, any kind of media or. or Incident or accident or whatever, normally their names are、uh, taken out and like very minimal information about them is given to keep them kind of safe and to keep their identities out of like newspapers, television, things like that. But there's more to it than that. People weren't just uninterested in learning about Sachiko's history or whereabouts. There was simply no data to be had. Oh. I can't move my body because of sleep paralysis, I guess. But I can clearly see the room and I'm in now. There's one boy and two girls in here, aside from myself. And you're much bigger than them. I recognize them. They're the children who were killed in Heavenly Host during that incident, but they're still alive. Unfortunately, they're all bound hand and foot and just sprawled out on the floor, and so am I. That's the real reason I can't move. <laughs> Somebody, please. Save me! Now I'm blindfolded. I can't see a thing that's happening to me. And since my hands and feet are tied up, I can't remove the blindfold either. Sure, that makes sense. That just makes things. That just makes everything so much worse. I guess because I can't see, I begin to listen more intently. <laughs> 
The helpless cries of the other children echo off the walls of the cramped room. I'm so scared. It feels like my head's going to explode. What are you doing to me? Why am I blindfolded? Untie me! Cut the ropes! I want to be able to use my hands and feet! Please! Please! I kept begging and pleading, but all I heard in response was the man walking away from me. In or der okay. In order. I've never heard screaming like this before. It's pure, primal terror, cutting through the air, like a perfect sine wave. It's the boy at the end. <laughs> It feels like he's been screaming for an eternity. I think he's being killed right now. <laughs> My God, what the hell is he doing to him? No one deserves this. Why isn't God allowing him to fall unconscious? So he doesn't have to suffer. It's been at least a half an hour now. Those inhuman screams of a young boy being ripped apart from the inside. have finally come to a halt. <laughs> Without even a single moment of silence, the first of the girls in line is the next to scream for her life, and the symphony goes on. Finally, after hearing a sound like a heavy object being dropped, the noises stopped and the room grew quite quiet again. A 
Those footsteps are getting closer. All my hair is standing on end at this point. Everything below my stomach feels like it's frozen. Like I've been suddenly stricken with severe diarrhea. In order. God, why am I just relieved by the silence? The kid next to me just died. Which means it's my turn now. Ah! Someone's got me by the hair. They're pulling my head up. And... And taking off my blindfold. Which means... I get to see the face of my killer. Tenjin the four missing children were found in a basement room at Heavenly Host Elementary School, unused and officially sealed since the building's construction. When authorities entered, they were greeted with an inhumanly horrific sight. Based upon the evidence at hand, the murder weapon was determined to be a pair of large sewing scissors found in the hands of the accused. Investigators suspected some hesitation on the man's part. However, as the deceased victim's wounds did not indicate that his full strength had been used. Nonetheless, he had clearly acted with extreme malicious intent. The official cause of death for the three murdered children has been listed as loss of blood following removal of the tongue. But the actual state of affairs was not quite so clinical, nor even so pleasant, if you can believe it. The following details have been extrapolated from information previously unreleased to the public, or at least previously unreported by news outlets. These details of the crime are based on the official police testimony of Sachiko Shinazaki herself. Evidently, the victims were bound, blindfolded, and spaced out on the floor, then killed, one by one. One was repeatedly stabbed in the abdomen with the aforementioned pair of scissors, then had many of his intentions internal organs forcefully dug out. His discarded innards were found partially buried beneath the earthen floor of the basement room. Another was stabbed in the head dozens upon dozens of times to such an extent that all flesh and bone above her jawline was essentially minced away. One 
with my blindfold removed. The sight that appeared before me was more horrific than anything I could possibly have imagined. The person staring back at me, brandishing a blood-soaked pair of sewing scissors, wasn't the large man from earlier at all. It was one of the children. It was a little girl. Her face dyed red with the blood of her victims. She was staring at me intently with soulless gray eyes. And then she just started giggling. <laughs> Yoshi Kazu. She was opening and closing the bloodied scissors over and over again. The sound kept echoing through the room. Then she took those dull, rusty, thoroughly blood-soaked blades and slowly brought them closer and closer to my left eye. <laughs> How? Why? Why is it you? <laughs> no. 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 The third victim was stabbed in the left eye an indeterminate number of times. Until her eyeball became soup like in consistency, she was eventually just left like that, slowly bleeding to death in horrible agony. Strangely, it was only after these mutilations had already been inflicted that the killer went back and severed the victim's tongues. Learning the truth about these proceedings is shocking even to me, and makes it nearly impossible to accept the murderer as anything but a monster. And bearing witness. Oh. And bearing witness to every moment of this was a seven year old girl named Sachiko. In many ways, she's the most pitiable and long suffering of them all. But it was through her tearful, frightened testimony that Yoshikazu Yanagi Hori was officially charged. Now, going back to the hunt for information on this unfortunate girl's whereabouts, 
It was her words that ultimately led to Yoshikazu's sentencing. Therefore, it comes as no real surprise that sensitive information pertaining to her and her family would be withheld. That's to be expected. What's not expected, however, is that there's not even a slightest trace of this information left to find. It's as if it simply never existed. Therefore, I cannot help but consider alternate possible explanations. And I remind you, this is mere conjecture. But one question keeps nagging at the back of my mind. Was Yoshikazu Yanagori really the murderer of the three victims? Is it possible this crime was not actually perpetrated by him at all? Think about it. In his final days, Yoshikazu was incapable of communicating with others through speech. And despite his childlike reversion, he'd always been a personable and friendly man. As the saying goes, he wouldn't have heard a fly. All his relatives, friends, and neighbors confirmed as much, shocked to hear that such a kindly man could commit these unconscionable... 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 Atrocities. He certainly had no motive for the crime, either. There was nothing for him to gain from it. Then again, he may simply have lost his mind. Look at his father. It was around this time that Principal Takamani Yanagihori suddenly began speaking in tongues and acting in a most peculiar way. Not to mention scribbling incomprehensible gibberish all over his walls, as if possessed. He seemed frightened of someone and would often be found crouching in the corner of his office, moaning and thrashing when visitors came by. If he could wind up in such a beleaguered state with no warning, then perhaps too could his son. I believe that we're looking at a curse far more powerful than anything man could devise. From the time it opened its doors to the day it closed them forever. Heavenly Host Elementary School's sealed basement room has existed as some form of cursed ground. And to find the underlying cause, we must go back beyond the infamous kidnapping and murder incident. Back a whole 20 years. I 
I believe I may have found a clue that could shed some light on the situation. It may be a bit far-fetched as leads go, but it's a lead nonetheless. Regrettably, since Heavenly Host was not only closed down but demolished altogether, and another school built in its place. It's no longer possible to investigate the basement room directly. But my protege has found what may be the next best thing. Something that could make the impossible possible once more. Preparations are being made to pursue this lead even now. Be sure not to miss the next installment. It may be the scoop of a lifetime. Kokibiki, 2003, 722. liking the music continued in chapter four wow Ch i'm sorry chapter five chapter five has been unlocked Woo! so that's gonna do it for this episode extra four has been unlocked nice awesome so yeah that's gonna do it for chapter four we got through it. Uh, I think this ended up becoming, uh, what, three or four episodes just for this one chapter. But we did get a good amount of the bad endings as well as the good endings, so that's good. I'm really glad that that happened. Uh, less for us to backtrack over. Um, but yeah, wow. So that's gonna do it for this episode. I will meet you guys all back here for the next episode where we will continue with chapter five. I'm very excited about that. Um, but thank you guys all so much for joining me. I hope that you enjoyed. I hope that you will join me in the next episode. But until then, and as always, do take care, everyone.